we've got our scrubs that we change into at the start of each shift. We then put a gown over the top of that, which goes straight to the floor, all the way down our arms. Um, we then have shoe covers for our feet, hair nets to, to put our hair back in, different types of masks, so we've got surgical masks and FFP3 masks, gloves, and then our visors that go over the top of everything. The FFP3 mask is for aerosol, ge aerosol generating procedures and the surgical masks most people on the ward will just be wearing just to cover their nose and mouth. Um, they protect us from anything that the patient's kind of breathing out. Okay, so our final check, mask, gown, gloves, face visor, name badge. So um, first responders, for example, would be wearing um, a pinny, gloves and surgical mask. And um, that's for everything apart from aerosol generating procedures, which they may have to do, such as suction or things like that, which um, generate an aerosol. And then they would need to change into everything that we've got here as well. Um, so we use them because everyone on this ward has COVID. Um, it is a COVID ward and we use them to protect ourselves when we're getting really up and close with the patients, when we're rolling them and things like that. Parts of us do touch the patients that you, you may not get in, say, an ambulance or things like that. What we do is we um, follow uh, Public Health England guidance as much as we can. Um, and so do I know our ambulance colleagues and the police colleagues, everyone has their own guidance to follow. Um, it is important to try and follow that, that guidance as much as you can because as you know from what's going on in the UK and throughout the world, PPE is in scarce resource. Specialised areas use specialised masks, so it really is about the area that you're working in. When removing our equipment we call this doffing. Uh, we follow a very specific procedure um, because this is where um, you're most likely to be contaminated is when you're actually taking off your equipment. So the first thing is to take the gloves off, um, which Izzy's just done, and placed in the clinical waste. We then use hand sanitizer gel. Um, secondly, we take off our gown. We undo um, all of the bows at the back of the gown and we then very, very carefully roll the gown off ourselves, turning it inside out as we do so. This thing gets rolled into a ball and again placed in the laundry. Our next stage is to take off the visor and we do this by taking the strap off the back and pulling it away from our face and into the clinical waist. Our face mask is the next item to come off, bottom strap first and then the top strap and again pushing it away from our face and straight into the clinical waist as we do so. And then our hairnet into the clinical waist. We then hand sanitise our hands again. Does it get complicated remembering what bits of kit you need to get <laughs> We're getting used to it slowly. <laughs>